What is the creepiest thing that society accepts as a cultural norm? Funeral practices. Pump a body full of chemicals or whatever else or burn the f till there's nothing. At least where I am that's the only options you have at all. Put me in the ground and the bugs and plants and bullshit live off me. Circle of life and return to the earth. Someone's mentioned purity balls but I'd extend it to most cultures stupid interest in especially female virginity. Even in the west there's too much emphasis on it. Child marriage. Only 34 states have a minimal marriage age in the US. There really needs to be a federal law on this. Only 14% of child marriages from 2000 to 2010 were between kids. Most are between a child and adult. Luckily at least the majority is at age 17. 67% of the children were aged 17. 29% of the children were aged 16. 4% of the children were aged 15. 1% of the children were aged 14 and under. But when looking at areas with the youngest age or the largest age gap it happens in states with the worst laws. Examples. An 11-year-old boy married a 27-year-old woman in 2006 in Tennessee and in 2010 a 65-year-old man married a 17-year-old girl. These are extreme cases but having a federal law requiring a minimal marriage age of 18 would be a great start in protecting these kids. Tele-evangelists. These people should not be out in the wild. Controlling. Manipulating. Molding their audience to give as much as they can as the Lord has spoken to them and they require a new Learjet. All psychological showmen and their target audience laps it all up and defends their every action with gusto. Being charged with being a beast? They were doing God's work but they also needed that new mansion to stop the flood. Give now so you can get in the pearly gates with Q Jumper TM. How they are allowed to peddle their biblical fan fiction nonsense to the impressionable actually makes them beyond creepy. How bothered people are about what sexuality a celebrity is. Spouses cheating on each other. It's a horrible thing to do to someone, but people treat it like it's juicy gossip. Human data trafficking of a large portion of the people on the planet via data collection. It's human data trafficking. Known and unknown companies and individuals buy, sell, and trade people's location information, search information, medical information, entertainment interests, and much more. All for money, manipulation, and control. Feeding children disgusting amounts of sugar and then blaming them for being fat. It's weird how. When you go to a men's tailor, they go up one side, move it over, they go up the other, move it back, and then they do the back. Adult women having sex with or lusting after teenage boys. A very close friend of mine had his first time when he was 15 to a 35-year-old woman. He said that she told him she wanted to sleep with him in order to show him how to properly please a woman so that he won't be lost and confused when he gets older. The fact that a grown-ass woman said that to a teenage boy is just vile and disgusting. Like, no dude she's not showing you shit. She's just being a f***ing predator. It made me angry when he told me about it. One for me is jokes about male rape particularly in the prison context. Working 50% of your waking life to make someone else rich. Not anymore. But when I was young Family Feud was hosted by Richard Dawson. And Richard Dawson would go down the line and kiss every woman on the show on the lips. On the lips. Even the underage girls. And he did this season after season. And back then that was somehow acceptable on broadcast television. My friends in sororities talking about how they only socialize with frats within their tier. AKA the top three hottest frats only have parties with the top three hottest sororities. Or how during rush week they eliminate people purely based on looks. Made me uncomfortable how they acknowledge they know it's wrong but it's just the way it is. Caring about virginity. Medically. Virginity doesn't exist. Nothing changes in your body when you have sex. It makes sense if you think about it. Nothing else in your body works this way. You don't have a gland in your mouth that swells the first time you have Mexican food. You don't have a bone that cracks the first time you high-five someone. Why would you have a thing that changes the first time a penis enters a vagina? But the amount we care whether or not someone has had sex to the point that we even have a word for it. There is no word for someone who has never swam before. There is no word for someone who has never kissed. But whether someone has had sex is just part of the vocabulary and in many places is a social or even legal thing. Not so much a cultural norm but see it a lot in society. Feeling that addicts aren't deserving of life i.e. 
They shouldn't be given Narcan when overdosing. I think it's even worse hearing it from a MD, RN, someone in healthcare. After working in a NUR as a social worker I would hear it from some of the nurses and it just baffled me that they became a nurse to help only certain people. Like others aren't as deserving of life. Not to mention not everyone that overdoses is an addict. Sometimes it's a suicide attempt. Other times it's a person that is taking them as prescribed but was given too big of a dose, etc. Those fake, real looking baby dolls. The race to losing your virginity. It seriously messes with some people's minds. People sharing embarrassing pictures and videos of their kids publicly on social media. Not thinking about the fact that they and everyone they know will grow up to use the internet too. Baby used his diaper to finger paint on the walls? Better film it for YouTube views. Paparazzis. They have killed many celebrities and done nothing but snap pictures while they were dying. There is no freedom for these poor people that wanted nothing but to pursue their dream. Countdowns to when a famous woman turns 18. Like being able to say that she's legal now doesn't lower the creep factor. Social media. Separation of church and state not actually being separated. Making kids be affectionate when they don't want to. The whole idea of give them a hug goodbye. Or give grandma a kiss. Screw that. I never made my kid do anything like that. I don't care whose feelings got hurt. Parents essentially recording a child's entire life from baby to adult on social media. It's disturbing to me how many parents will do this with zero regard for how their child will feel about it later in life. I'm actually so glad I was born a decade before Facebook even existed. I imagine this is going to become more of a mainstream political issue in the next couple of decades. In the form of Gen Z, Alpha people demanding stronger child privacy rights as they realize their entire lives have been laid bare for all to see. People knowing every detail about celebrities' lives. Getting blackout drunk. Snapmap on Snapchat. Most people don't turn it off and you can just see where a person is and where they live and the last they were on Snapchat. Nudity not allowed on TV. But graphic violent deaths are. Shaming people particularly children for having certain diseases or needing medical care. Mental health e.g. Depression springs to mind. But complex disorders like epilepsy, cystic fibrosis, or even endometriosis invite inappropriate public comment. Patients are told they are lazy, liars, or should just die for being disabled. I worked at a health science hospital center where we had public protesters every time a healthcare issue made the news. It was creepy and felt dangerous, volatile. Not allowing elderly people to decide when they want to die. Who the hell wants to live with dementia? Obviously the retirement homes, healthcare industry makes trillions off this. Which is who shaped our beliefs on the subject in the first place without even realizing it. Cutting off part of people's genitals. People having to die or suffer being the lowest class. Child pageants. If the girl is like 16 to 18, fine, just fine. They're almost young adults. But like six-year-olds belly dancing on stage with a two-piece. Nah, I guess that's a opinionated answer. But it just creeps me out. Brush off the idea that men can't get sexually assaulted or abused. That we install listening devices in our homes and then cry about our privacy being undermined. I'm European and I think it might make people uncomfortable how okay I am with nudity. I think the world would be a better place if nudity stopped being so vilified. Like, we're born naked. Simply being naked doesn't have to be sexual. Taking photos, videos of strangers. Public proposals. Someone dressed in a funny outfit. Seeing people get wedding photos taken in a public place and deciding to photograph the bride etc. I always get really frustrated when I see something like a proposal go down and they're suddenly encased in a circle of people with their phones out. It's normal to give up your personal data for no good reason. If you refuse or voice your concern people look at you weird because why do you care if you have nothing to hide? You lost your virginity when you were a little boy? Lucky kid. You were molested by an adult when you were a little girl? He's dead. Seriously. It should be the same for both scenarios. Like, what's so lucky about an adult taking advantage of a kid, regardless of gender? 
Well in South Africa we have this cultural practice called virginity testing where an old woman will take your female child into the bush, shove her finger into a her vagina to see if she's still a virgin and if so she and a bunch of other girls that have undergone the same process will get to dance topless in front of the chief at the chance of one of them being his bride. I mean the practice of the act is protected under cultural law but still, you're letting someone your grandmother's age finger your daughter in the woods. He, she is bullying you because he, she likes you. Jeffrey Epstein being murdered in prison before he could spill the beans on a worldwide child sex slave operation for the elite. Amazon Alexa and Google Home. Those things are always listening and hear everything you say and do. Yet everyone has them and Spotify was handing them out for free. Each day we get closer to a 1984 situation. Child beauty pageants are for who? Exactly? Who enjoys them? And why? The more you really think about it, the less happy you should be. Rich, famous people being pedophiles. That in America, if you go to jail or prison for any reason you are allowed to be brutalized, raped and treated as subhuman with zero rights. Life coaches, self-help gurus and MLMs. I saw in rerun of what not to wear recently where someone was thinking of not doing it and one of the response was well. I don't know if it's just that I'm older now but most reality TV really freaks me out. Recording literally everything about their lives for clout. Pretending that terrible things aren't happening in their community. Every night. I don't understand why so many people will let others suffer and die to maintain the illusion that they live in a good neighborhood or stuff like that doesn't happen here instead of taking action to actually have a good community. Oh so and so's toddler is smiling at you they have a crush. Like just stop already it's creepy and disturbing. 